Well, we used the code reader in the old Dauber Cruiser, and everything was pointing to exhaust and the catalytic converters. Now, Tom, four of them in the Xterra. <laughs> this is an example of one. Now, before I go and replace those, what are some of the ancillary things I need to think about? Well, you, if there's a problem that damaged the catalytic converters, you don't want to put in a new catalytic converter without fixing those problems because you'll damage your new one. Catalytic converters do wear out over time, so it, it could just be the catalytic converter, but make sure you've replaced the uh, maintenance stuff, the spark plugs, the ignition coils, to make sure that you're not putting unburned fuel into the catalytic converter that'll overheat it, that'll damage it. Um, if your engine's just worn out, you need new piston rings, um, you could replace valve seals, that, that's usually not very expensive, but if you're anything that's leaking oil, engine oil into the catalytic converter, that'll turn into ash and, and damage it. And you're talking a big rebuild if you're talking the... Yeah, except for the valve seals, are, that can be something that you can do yourself, and it's not a big problem on a lot of engines. Um, and another thing, um, a lot of uh, newer engines have plastic intake manifolds. Sometimes those crack over time, and the, the coolant passages leak, so you'll leak coolant in your catalytic converter, and, and that'll create ash and, and clog it up, too. So th those, those are ignition, engine oil, and coolant. You don't want those in the, you, you don't want unburned fuel, you don't want coolant, you don't want engine oil in your catalytic converter. And you certainly don't want to replace the catalytic converters only to find out it's some other problem that's leading to that. Right, yeah, you don't want to damage the new one. And, and, and whenever you're um, replacing a catalytic converter or just as routine maintenance, like every, usually it's like every 100,000 miles, you want to replace the oxygen uh -huh. sensors because those are, those are the sentinels um, controlling the fuel-air mixture, providing the, uh, telling the computer if the right fuel-air mixture is coming to the uh, engine. And, and if, if those don't work, then your your uh, catalytic converter is more likely to get damaged and you'll get all sorts of engine trouble codes. So, yeah, yeah whenever you replace the catalytic converter, put new oxygen sensors and just as part of routine maintenance, replace those periodically. So if you're going in and you're going to replace a part, you might as well get the parts that go with it. You can get all of that at rockauto.com.